My name is Adam Novak, and now we're talking about exception handling in Python. Now, a program should never do anything unexpected, and exception handling is often a last resort, though sometimes there's no other way to go about it. Exception handling works like so. We have a try, accept, else, and finally catchments, though the finally catchment is often not necessary. If we think we may be occurring some sort of error, we can put it inside a try clause. The type of error we think we may occur, we put inside an accept catchment, such that we can evaluate what's inside of the accept catchment if we occur that error. Because there are many different types of errors we may occur, it is sometimes necessary to use many accept catchments. An else catchment is run if no accept catchments are found. The finally statement is run every time, no matter what, even if we find an accept catchment or we simply run the else. So let's say for example we're requesting a number from the user and they don't import a number. What do we do? So let's make number equal to the import. Please enter a number. Then we can try it in here. Inside here we'll print num equals and then int num. And then over here we can use an accept catchment. Because if the user does not put a number in, we're going to get a value error. So we can accept value error. And in here we can ask for a new input. So we reassign an input to number. And down the bottom here we use an else such that we get no errors. We can print well done. And finally we can use a finally. So in this case this could be our debugger since it is run every time. Pushing F5 to save and run. Now let's see what happens if we put a number in first. In this case we run our try statement and we got a number so it runs successfully so we print number is equal to 5 since I entered 5. The else statement is also run because it's successful there are no accept catchments run so we'll print the else statement. The finally statement is also run because it's printed every time. So if I ran this again and put in a letter such that I put in G, you can see that we run the accept catchment such that it says numbers only please. If we put in a number now, it will accept it, such we put in 5 and it will print off number is equal to 5, the finally clause. This is because no accept catchments were found. If we run it again though, and we put in G, then get another error and put in G again, you'll see it will just print out number is equal to G, the finally catchment. This means that we have finished running our program with the character still assigned to the number. This is why it is often important to nest these accept catchments inside a while loop.